guys here is a short video that explains the concept of girding of tugs in the topic of ship handling so girding of tugs is also known uh, in some books or some places as girding of tugs or girthing of tugs it's basically the same principle so i'll make this short video to quickly explain what is it all about and what can be done to avoid it so what is girding of tugs so when the tug is maneuvering with the vessel and tug line has been given to the ship or vice versa so it could be the ship stand given to the tug or to the tug line given to the ship in any case if the tug is attached to the ship in through some line it may happen that instead of the tug pulling the vessel the vessel starts to pull the tug in such cases if the tug line is perpendicular to the heading of the tug the pull on the tug line will tend to heave the tug resulting in its capsizing which could be a very serious incident so here i've shown you the two scenarios where this might occur one is where the tug is interacting with the vessel in the forward part of the ship and second where the tug is interacting with the vessel in the aft part of the ship so as soon as the tug line becomes perpendicular to the heading of the tug that is where it becomes very dangerous especially if the ship pulls it instead of the tug pulling the ship now this can happen due to the following reasons the first one is when there is a mechanical breakdown within the tug and the vessel continues to proceed unaware of such a problem the second reason could be if there is a sudden increase in the speed of the vessel or sudden change of course of the vessel without informing the tug's master the third reason could be if there is a sudden decrease in the speed of the tug without informing the ship's master so if there is any change in the course and speed of the vessel or change in the course and speed of the tug without either parties being informed such a thing can occur a curtain can occur in such cases the duty officer attending the tug must keep a close watch on the maneuvering of the tug and inform the master immediately whenever such a situation is anticipated whenever girding is anticipated all efforts must be made to slacken the tow line and if necessary cast off the line normally the tugs are equipped with a quick release mechanism and the midships which can be released remotely additionally reduction in vessel speed and or change in the course may also help avoiding the girding before i finish with today's video i will also talk about the gob railing or the gob line gob line provided to the tug to prevent girding from occurring so what is a gob railing well the tugs are provided with a gob railing at the stern of their vessel this is provided to avoid girding of the tug as far as possible all lines to be to the tug should pass through the gob railing however a line given through the gob rails restricts the maneuvering capability of the tug and hence you will see that often many of the tug masters or tug operators avoid using the gob rail or gob railing because it restricts the maneuverability of the tug however they are provided to prevent the girthing of the tug from occurring so let me know what you thought about this video this was an oral question asked to a ship's master uh, in the examination so i was asked to make a short video on this topic and hence here it is i'll see you soon with the next topic guys bye